Hi everyone! Today we'll explore the powerful capabilities of Codium AI, an AI-based testing tool that allows developers to generate meaningful tests easily and automatically right from the IDE. We are going to look at Google API Client Library for PHP that offers simple, flexible access to many Google APIs such as Gmail, Drive, or YouTube on our backend servers. The project has an extensive list of tests. Looking at the existing test suite, it covers a wide variety of tests, including YouTube APIs, Google Drive's file upload and download API, and much more. We'll navigate through the existing code base and use Codium AI to generate new tests automatically. There are three different ways you can do this with Codium AI. First and foremost, you can generate tests from components directly. This is a great way to test components where the test setup is not complex and specific to your project. This includes a lot of business logic classes and functions, utility code, and the like. In this case, we can also use reference tests, which we'll get into a little bit later. Here are all the tests generated by Codium AI for this particular function. You can also generate tests from a single simple test for the component, which enables you to take into account the test setup you have in your project without writing too many tests. Some people write a single test in the style of the project and then generate tests on top of it. As we'll be able to see, we had test decode response and Codium AI generated multiple similar test cases as an extension. Finally, you can also extend the existing test suite, which is great for cases where the test setup is complex or you want the AI to learn from your preferred practice or you want to take into consideration existing tests to not create duplications. This is currently supported for JavaScript, TypeScript, and Python. Support for PHP will be added in the future, so in the meantime, we'll explore the alternatives, using AI to generate tests based on our existing test suite. The project is a PHP project built for providing simple access to Google APIs and is built with testing in mind. In fact, support for testing with PHP unit is included out of the box, and a phpunit.xml file is already set up for your application by default. PHP unit allows you to organize your tests into test suites, which are logical groups of tests. This helps you run specific sets of tests and provides better organization for your tests overall. Our focus today would be enhancing the test suite for REST APIs. Let's start with Google Drive APIs. Looking more carefully at the test suite, it is evident that we have a pretty good test coverage and every line is covered. So coming up with new test ideas is a pretty difficult task. This is exactly where Codium AI really shines. We'll now let Codium AI brainstorm some tests for us. It delves into the core function of the API client, generating a variety of tests that can enhance your testing suite significantly. There are multiple tests that can be generated. Let's choose one of them. Once the tests have finished generating, you'll find a set of tests crafted by Codium AI tailored specifically to our project in the Advanced Tests panel, particularly within the Client API section. Let's now add it to the code and make sure it runs. And as you can see, the test runs correctly. Let's look at the configuration options before we continue. You can see you can add instructions, which are specific prompts that can guide Codium AI in test generation. We're going to use the PHP project's standard PHP unit framework and can also optionally incorporate reference tests for a more tailored approach. Moreover, you can customize the number of tests created, more or less than the default six. In addition, Codium AI allows you to tweak existing tests automatically. For instance, if you identify a missing check or want to, say, add another client for your existing test, you can just use this ChatGPT-like functionality to change the existing test. Let's add the instructions to add another client and watch as the model dynamically adjusts the test to incorporate these additional checks. There we go, and we're all done. We added tests from Codium AI's suggestions, reviewed them, and even modified them using the ChatGPT-like functionality, Codium AI's intelligent code analysis feature. Let's now take a look at how we can generate a completely new custom test with Codium AI. Looking at the code, we have a function called decode HTTP response, and we want to test it. We'll first let the AI generate tests for us based on the component of our choice, we are particularly focusing on the decoding of the HTTP response given a particular stream of input. Let's see what tests are generated by the AI to test the function. Coming to the advanced panel, Codium AI gave us a couple of tests. 
Let's take the one about testing the code response. The test is checking the status code returned given a particular set of stream input and validated whether the decoding has happened correctly. Let's copy the test, run it, and as you can see, it runs correctly. But what happens when the JSON stream is invalid? Unlike the current case where the JSON stream is valid, ideally we would want to handle it graciously with proper status code. Let's ask for another test using the new custom test widget. Codium AI will generate a test for us, we'll copy it over and see that it runs correctly and that the API is able to handle an invalid JSON stream. Adding a new custom test was as simple as specifying the requirement, asking Codium AI to generate the test, adding it to our file, and voila, we're done. It's worthwhile to note that Codium AI has a PR pull request assistant, which you can use to automate many of the tasks associated with creating a pull request, like generating a description, suggesting improvements, looking for similar issues, and more. To conclude, we created a test using Codium AI for an open source project in PHP making sure that it works correctly within the context of the project, all entirely within Visual Studio Code. To learn more, go to codium.ai and get the plugin directly from the website. Thank you for joining us today, and happy coding!